Namaste from Nepal. Um, you might be wondering why I'm speaking English because we actually have quite a lot of new subscribers and um, we already had to clarify here and there that we're from Germany. So the kids are speaking German, we are speaking German in the, fam in the family. Um, but we decided to accommodate and help our new subscribers understand us better that we will try to speak in English um, starting from now actually. And we are in beautiful Nepal right now. I just want you to understand and please be patient. Uh, the kids just started to learn English. So they are very shy when it comes to speaking a different language. Um, they want to learn, but just please be understanding and patient um, that we probably will have a, a lot of German sentences still in our videos. But from time to time, I think it will get more and more into English and I'm sure that they will get more and more comfortable speaking English as well. Yeah, I think. Thank you so much for watching our videos, our vlogs so far. And there is so much more interesting content coming up. I promise you, um, not just here in Nepal, Nepal, but already from Nepal, uh, we can promise you that. We had some very, very cool adventures and we can't wait to share them with you. And yeah, hear your, hear your thoughts on it and um, let us, leave us a comment if you like it, uh, what you don't like, what you want to know about the countries we visit, about us as a family. Um, we are very, very thankful and grateful that you are with us and enjoy our content. <laughs> Thank you. Now. Kathmandu, you can't do <laughs> Nepal. Right now, we are right now we're actually just standing on the side of the road because it's raining and we forgot our umbrella at the hotel. And we're just watching people passing by. And it's interesting to see. It looks like a mixture of maybe India, Chinese, I don't know, we've never been to China, but um, it seems like a very interesting mixture of, of uh, people. <laughs> Our Nepal journey started in Kathmandu, vibrant capital of the country. After arrival, we used the first couple of days to simply rest and do some schooling. But we also explored the neighborhood. Traffic reminded us sometimes of Indian cities. We stayed in the touristic area of Tamil and were surprised to find many international restaurants and even European style bakeries. Das ist Käse und das ist einfach nur ohne. Ich glaube, ich würde so ein bisschen. Ich glaube, ich würde so ein bisschen. Ich glaube, ich würde so ein bisschen. Self service. Oh, we have a great deal and we have a Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. 
you need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> We have a very good friend living in Kathmandu. He invited us to his home and we were delighted to meet his family. <laughs> visited Okun's family, I really enjoyed playing with his daughters. Tofi and Yudin are cute. <laughs> We are here at Durba Square, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's a living museum of Nepali architecture and culture. Unfortunately, it was a rainy day, but we tried to make the best out of it. to the hotel, we got hungry. And since we were pretty close to China, we thought we might as well just try some Chinese food to see whether it tastes different from what we have come to know in Chinese restaurants in Europe. To be honest, it was quite spicy, but tasted much better.
Ella, what was your favorite moment in Kathmandu? I liked the monkey temple most because there were really lots of monkeys and it was fun watching them. That's it for today's vlog. Thank you for joining us in Kathmandu. Next episode, come along on an incredible trekking adventure in Nepal's mountains. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Also es hat auf jeden Fall sehr viel geregnet, weil immer wenn wir rausgehen wollten, hat es angefangen zu regnen und vorher und danach war meistens gutes Wetter. Ähm, das war ein bisschen nervig. Ähm, wir haben da auch, glaube ich, das heißt irgendwie Durba Square oder so. Da sind wir auch hingegangen, ähm, aber da hat es leider auch geregnet. Ähm, Emmy und Malik, hat euch Kathmandu an irgendeine andere Stadt erinnert oder ein anderes Land? Also, es hat mich, also mich hat Indien ein bisschen an Indien erinnert, aber irgendwie nicht so chaotisch.